You already know it, Shannon Marie. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video with your girl Shannon Marie. And today's video, as you guys can tell by the title down below, is going to be a what's in my hospital bag video. I was watching a lot of videos on YouTube to see what I should bring for myself and what I should bring for my newborn while I'm in the hospital. Again, everybody's journey is different. Some people end up staying in the hospital for a few days. Some people go home the same day or they go home the next day. I decided to get information from certain people like friends who've had babies and from the videos and kind of combine everything in one. I would say I did overpack, but again, you never know how long you're gonna be in the hospital for. Half the things I'm bringing, I doubt that I'm going to be using in the hospital. My sister told me that when I'm in the hospital, it's better to use what the hospital gives you before using your stuff. A little tip for you guys. If they have uh, toiletries, obviously use what they have before using your own. That's only if they don't have enough to provide you with it, which they definitely should. Then you can resort to using your own stuff, but it is still good to pack certain things in your hospital bag. In today's video, I collaborated with Kia Babies and everything that I'll be telling you guys will be in the description box down below so that you guys can go on the Kia Babies website and order whatever you wanna order from there. Kia Babies has reached out to me to review one of their Explorer large diaper bags in the color gray. I am a first time mom and I was searching on what bags are good, what bags aren't good, which ones will be more supportive on your back, I honestly decided to go with a backpack just because I don't like holding bags only on my shoulder because it causes my neck to hurt. So this is Kia Baby's Explorer large diaper bag in the color gray. This bag has 19 compartments. Isn't that crazy? It has 19 compartments. And my favorite part about it is the straps at the back. It's so supportive. It also comes with these pads just in case if the bag is too heavy, it's more cushiony on your shoulders. It also comes with these straps. So what you do is you just take one side off on each side. It actually hangs from the stroller. So if you're pushing the stroller and your partner's not with you or you don't have anyone to hold your diaper bag, you can just hook this part right on to your stroller. How cool is that? At the back, it has a compartment over here. It's pretty large. This part in the back, so this is a whole compartment itself. And then it also has a second compartment. It also comes with a second compartment. What was in the first one was a changing pad. So it's Velcro. You can just change your baby on this changing pad right here. So on each side of the bag, it comes with two compartments. It comes with one here. It also comes with one right here. And on each side, you're gonna see that it comes with like in a little, it comes with a little elastic stretchy band so that if you did want to put like say a, a pack of diaper wipes there it'll fit perfectly fine moving to the front guys did i also mention that this bag is waterproof if milk spills on the bag if juice spills on the bag if water spills on the bag there's not going to be any type of stain you can just wipe it off or it just runs right off so in the front here, it has another compartment, just a little small hidden one here. And it's fairly big to put whatever you want in there. And then there's another compartment right here, which is just attached to it. Comes with this compartment right here. And then it also comes with three little compartments here. These three compartments are for the bottles. It comes with a foil inside, as you guys can see. I guess if the bottle's warm, it'll stay warm, or if the bottle's cold, then it'll stay cold in this compartment. That is so cool. Up here, another compartment again. One thing I like about it is that um, it doesn't have a buckle. Like these things don't attach with a buckle, nor does it attach with a Velcro. It comes with this. I don't know the proper terminology for these things here, but it, it comes with this rather than a buckle or a Velcro. Let's get into the exciting part, the biggest compartment of the backpack. Look how deep that is. It can fit so much things in there, guys. And another thing I really like about these bags is that the compartments are deep, so you can carry more things, you know? Inside, it comes with a compartment that's at the very back of the bag. It comes with a mesh one. So you see how I said how these are on each side? It also has that inside, if you guys can see. There's one on this side, and then one on that side. And it has two at the back, and then two at the front in front of 
this part here. Those are all the compartments that come with the bag. If you guys are interested in a Kia Baby Explorer large diaper bag, I will link everything down below so that you guys will be able to get your own. Okay, guys, so these are all the stuff that I'm gonna be bringing for the baby. First things first, I have plastic bags. I'm bringing plastic bags because the hospital is very unsanitary, especially going through this COVID thing. I'm gonna have plastic bags. For the baby, I brought newborn soothers. This is zero to three months. I have two receiving blankets. So here I have diapers. These are newborns, huggies. You guys can't really see it, but. These are newborn huggy diapers. I put them into this bag. These are Pampers diapers that I received from my OB doctor. This one comes with five diapers. And in this one, I think I put in like 10 diapers. Again, the hospital will give you diapers, but it's also good to bring your own stuff. I also have a pack of Pampers wipes. I also have napkins just in case. You never know what you need napkins for, but I'm going to be keeping two packs in the diaper bag. I packed around like four outfits just because like you never know. I don't know how small the baby's going to be, so I packed four outfits just in case like certain ones don't fit and you know you have to have options. I have three hospital hats that I received from a lovely friend. I'm bringing long sleeve and short sleeve because I'm doing the next five weeks, so I don't know if it's going to be cold or warm. It might be a little bit warm, so I can put him maybe in a t-shirt, but Knowing me, I'm probably gonna put him in a long sleeve. All of these here are just socks and mittens. I'm bringing two hats just in case. I'm bringing four washcloths just in case. This is a lot of stuff to have for the baby at the hospital for the first few days, I guess. But again, I'm also gonna be provided a lot of stuff from the hospital, hopefully. But this is why if they don't have it, I have my own stuff. I'm just gonna put this stuff into the bag so that you guys can see. using this bag right here first things first i have my crocs that i got from the dollar store this is for the shower this is if i have to walk around in the hospital i know for a fact i most likely will throw these out once i'm done with them i have my lotion i have my african black soap i have my travel size toothpaste set of fill shampoo and body wash i have my mouthwash i also have a small deodorant i also have wet wipes i have Kleenex. I have two wash rags. One's blue, one's pink. One's gonna be for a shower and one's gonna be for my face. I have gloves. I bought these underwears from Walmart. So normally we call these period panties and this is what we're going to have to wear because we can't be wearing cute panties after giving birth. So these are nursing pads. So it's basically used that if you leak milk, it's there to protect yourself. I also have a mask. I have shavers. I also have candy. I also have more candies. I might open this right now. I love sour patches. I have two toothbrushes and I'm bringing the both of them because what if one falls on the floor? I also have this. Inside are my pads. I have my Jolly Jumper breastfeeding pillow, which is going to come in handy. I have pocket bags again. I'm bringing a dress, like a black dress because Nobody has time to be pulling down pants and all that stuff, so I'm bringing a dress. I have a loose fitted gray shirt. So I have three bras. I have pajamas, so this one, they say it's good to have like button up shirts so that you can button them down when you're breastfeeding. And these are just like pajama pants. I have another button down shirt. I have two pairs of yoga pants. Lastly, I have my microfiber towel that I'm going to be bringing. Also, the things that I'm also going to be bringing are like Blistex, lip gloss, makeup, I don't know. Hair products, I don't know because I don't know if I'm going to be wearing my natural hair or wigs. And 
I'm gonna be bringing my phone charger, my camera, and my laptop. But yeah, I'm just gonna put this stuff in the bag. You guys can watch and. Alrighty guys, there you have it. Those are the stuff that I will be bringing in my hospital bag for the baby and for myself. If you guys are interested in the diaper bag with Kia babies, I'll link their information in the description box below. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. I should have known that you would have changed.